What if we could use the power of vaccines to treat cancer? Like we have against smallpox, polio, or measles. Scientists have been trying for decades. But to date, most of these early forms of general cancer vaccines have failed. But now, the converging fields of cancer biology, genomic sequencing, and computer science have brought us to a turning point, where by focusing on each individual's tumor, patient-specific cancer vaccines are within our grasp. I'm Peter Fong, Associate Director of Oncology Business Development at Genentech. And today, we're gonna to talk about this new individualized approach to treating cancer called personalized cancer vaccines. The power of vaccines comes from our body's immune system. Vaccines work by creating a fingerprint database of foreign invaders for our immune system so they can be quickly matched and destroyed if ever encountered. Historically, vaccination worked well against infectious diseases because the foreign proteins that make up the viruses and bacteria, called antigens, are easily distinguishable from cells that make up the human body. However, because cancer arises from our own cells, they can camouflage themselves as healthy cells. That makes it tough to find the right antigens to vaccinate against. Scientists have discovered that, like foreign invaders, cancer cells indeed have markers that are unique to only themselves. These so-called neoantigens are specific to each person's tumor. You can think of neoantigens as a tumor's hidden fingerprint. However, identifying them has been exceedingly difficult. But today, the whole genome of a tumor can be sequenced in only a matter of days. This makes it possible to tailor a cancer vaccine for an individual person. It's the ultimate form of personalized medicine. Personalized cancer vaccines start with sequencing the genome of an individual person's tumor. From this, it's possible to identify the neoantigens amongst the sea of other genomic information through sophisticated software. The information about an individual's neoantigens is encoded into a message in the form of mRNA, which is then delivered in the form of a vaccine. Within the body, specialized immune cells called dendritic cells decode the mRNA back into the neoantigen proteins. The dendritic cells now have the hidden fingerprint of a person's cancer in their database. They then train the rest of the immune system, including T cells, to recognize and attack the cancer cells that are expressed the same neoantigens. Ultimately, the full potential of personalized cancer vaccines may come from using them in combination with other immunotherapy approaches, like checkpoint inhibitors which are thought to work by blocking signals from the tumor environment that can inactivate the immune system. Cancer is complex and has figured out ways to hide from the immune system. But by combining various scientific disciplines, we're hopefully turning cancer's complexity into its greatest vulnerability with individually tailored, personalized cancer vaccines. <laughs>